There are tablet PCs for each student. Interactive whiteboards are placed in every classroom. The network environment includes a wireless LAN and cloud access. When a cutting-edge environment like this is created with the latest information and communication technologies, or ICT, what changes will take place in the school as a place of learning, and what kind of changes will emerge in the students' attitudes? Today, the Future School Promotion Project has model schools that look ahead to this kind of future, and it is conducting empirical research on ICT utilization in education for the 21st century. Let's take a look at an actual class in a model school. A tablet PC is provided to each student in the class. The students can therefore utilize ICT anytime, and they are more highly motivated to study. ICT enables students to engage in their own individual studies. It can make ideas visible in the form of graphs, photos, or handwritten comments. It can also be used for presentations to the whole class. When one student expresses an opinion, ICT lets other students look at it, teach each other, and learn together in separate groups or in the entire class together. By teaching each other and learning together, they discover new ways of thinking and enhance their intellectual capabilities. In addition to presenting instructional material and information, interactive whiteboards also provide a means to transfer the students' ideas written on their tablets. When used together with a blackboard, this technology enhances interactive classroom teaching and learning. In the model school, teachers guide students so they can teach each other and learn together. Unprecedented new learning styles are emerging in model schools. Students in this class are using a collaborative education application to make the traditional Japanese poem matching cards called karuta. The students work separately to make the poem cards. Then all the students input those cards into a shared file at once so that the whole class together creates a complete set of cards. This is an example of ICT utilization in art class. The students move clay models frame by frame and capture them with the tablet PC's camera function to create an animation video. Classes that foster this kind of creativity and fresh expressiveness are possible thanks to ICT. Here, students are using digital textbooks to practice English pronunciation. The students not only listen to the pronunciation of native English speakers, but also use a voice recognition function with a headset to check whether their own pronunciation is correct. A student is working through a drill using a tablet PC. Students gain enjoyment in learning by choosing units that match their own understanding and interests. Network links make it possible to hold learning exchanges with schools in distant locations. Through video conferencing systems, students at different schools can see each other's faces while they talk in real time and learn about differences in the climate and ways of life in each other's areas. Hello. 
students in two far apart schools develop a feeling of unity through the experience of learning in a single virtual classroom. Sometimes students take their tablet PCs home to study there. They can study from digital instructional materials, take the next step forward from what they studied in class, and practice learning by investigation all in their own homes. This works to coordinate classes at school with learning at home. Now let's ask teachers at the model schools about ICT utilization in education. This school principal says, out of the many good things about it, I think the best is that the student's learning experience has been enriched. Using ICT equipment, students can have a visual experience of their classmates' opinions, which previously were only oral. Instead of traditional vertical communication between teachers and students, horizontal communication between students now becomes more active in the class, as they all learn from each other. I think that this is going to contribute to more autonomous learning. This teacher says we can transfer the students' thoughts and solutions to the display here and the other students can look and think, that was what I was thinking too, or that's a bit different from my way of doing it. They've become able to make these kinds of comparisons. The students seem to enjoy it more just because they can insert marks like these or choose the color. They get very involved in changing the colors to match the thoughts. And this is also helpful in making their thinking more visible. Before, the students would write on drawing paper and display it on the blackboard to show their ideas, writing and then explaining. Now, we don't need extra time for rewriting to show corrections or alternatives. They can show what they mean on the spot, and this has really been extremely effective as a way of sharing their thinking. There is increasing need for the skills to make greater, more proactive use of information and ICT in order to deal with the growing sophistication and complexity of the information society. Environments that foster those skills will become of increased importance. An environment in which students make use of ICT to teach each other and learn from each other. The initiative we have seen here is the forerunner of such an environment, and it is one vision of the Japanese school's future.